Doing. I'm Scott Mendelson. Today we're going to show you some bench press technique. All right, so basically we're going to go over some basic bench press routine in my style, okay? Now, when I bench press, I don't bench from here, I bench from my whole entire body. So I'm going to show you guys a couple different techniques that you can apply. Now, don't be tripped out if you don't learn this because this technique takes roughly about a year to learn. All right, so we're going to lay down right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our head completely off the edge of the bench press, okay? And what that'll do is enable us to gauge where our feet are supposed to go. So I bench on the balls of my feet. So I'm gonna kick my feet back and not too far back, just like medium, okay? And the reason why is you don't wanna over arch because if you over arch, you lock yourself out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a reverse grip right here and I'm gonna arch my back so I'm bridging basically on my head like that. I'm gonna take my shoulder blades, pinch them both back like this. Now I'm not on my back, I'm on my traps, okay? So when we're pushing, we're pushing with our body. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my ankles and I'm gonna push my ankles down like this. This is up, this is down. I'm on the balls of my feet. And what that's gonna do is, that's gonna tighten up my entire lower body, okay? Now, my hamstrings, my hips, uh, everything's super tight. Now, I'm gonna tighten up my glutes, my butt cheeks, and you'll see my butt go up. Boom, they're now tightened in. Now, the entire lower channel of my body is locked in, okay? I've taken my shoulder blades, and I've pinched them completely together. It's not a lat spread like bodybuilding, it's not muscular. I want you to take the scapulas, the two shoulder blades, and pinch them as close as possible together. Now once that's done, and I'm in position here, when I go raw, I'm a bigger guy, so I go with my ring finger in position, okay? Now, I'm gonna lift, and when I lift, I don't lift and focus from here, I focus from my hips, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna push my feet down, tighten up my glutes, and when I lift, I'm gonna tighten my tush up, my inner triceps are connected to the side of my body, and up I go into position. My wrists are straight, look at my wrists. My wrists are not in this position ever, okay? I want them to be in a straight position, right like that, okay? My elbows are in. Look how low the bench is, it's below my sternum. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm tightening up my glutes and I'm pulling with my back. Now if you notice my elbows, my elbows are not gonna separate and go past my back and then it'll freeze up. That's as low as it'll go. Now if I just drive with my legs, watch this. Boom, I'm driving back with my body. I'm already benching without even moving my arms. So in position from here, I'm gonna drive my inner triceps and my hips back at the same time. Boom, I'm locked. Pull, I'm pulled down. I can't go any lower than that, okay? Now, once I'm locked up in position, it won't go any lower. The only thing that's gonna make that bench bar go lower is more weight. And I don't know if you guys seen before, when you see me bench, you'll notice that the bench locks up, okay? When I was raw, going raw all the time, nothing less than 600 would touch. Now. In my podcast that I did with Mark, basically I talked about a tidal wave. And a tidal wave, you think about this big wave coming down and smashing down and destroying everything. That's not really the case with a tidal wave. The tidal wave is just the initial contact piece. What you need to worry about is all the ocean behind the wave that comes in and destroys everything. So basically, all the power and force is coming from my whole body. So when I drive back with my body, my inner tricep is connected into my body. So as that body drive goes back, 
I'm up with my triceps. Okay, and it's sort of a seesaw effect. I come down, I'm tight, but I'm, I'm, I'm in a not as locked position, and then I drive back, and you'll see when I lay down about that. So what I'm doing is, I'm driving all the way back like that. Okay, notice my ankles. My ankles aren't up like that, they're down. So I'm gripped into the ground. I'm pushing off that ground to drive myself back. So when I drive back, boom, you see how I'm all connected. My inner tricep, when I get that force back this way, I take this force and I drive this way. So I'm down, 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 and then boom, I'm driving up like that, all right? Ugh. So without that body force, I would not be able to have that force to complete a 1,050 bench, an 1,100 pound bench, and that's what we're dealing with. Now there's a drill that I do for body drive. Before I have Ashley come up, anybody wanna volunteer real quick? All right, do you bench flat foot or on the balls of your feet? Balls of my feet. Good, set up. Did it come off again? Or oh, we're good, okay. All right, get your head all the way off the bench. Get a reverse grip, and now arch. Come back, back that way. In other words, bridge on your head, lift your body up. No, 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 this is your head. Lift your whole body up from your head. Head down. Okay, now pinch your shoulder blades together. All right, now you're in position, okay? Now push your ankles down. Feel how that locks your body in? Now tighten up your butt cheeks. Okay, now get in a bench position. All you guys can gather around right here so you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, first of all, nobody benches like that. I want you to go ring finger <laughs> like that, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my fists Right here, what's your name? Josh. I'm gonna put my fist right on Josh's shoulders, okay? Now what I want you to do is I want you to push me off the bench, like slide your body, but don't go up on my hand. See how you're already going up? When you bench, you're supposed to go boom into the bottom of the bench, okay? Pinch your shoulders together. Stay like that. See your traps? Yep. Push your traps into the bench as you push and slide yourself right off. Drive. Now, see how you're going up my hands? Yep. No, 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 no. Go down into the bench. Drive. Nope, you're going up my hands again. <laughs> Set it back up. Now, here is where you go into the bench down. Just like that. Now slide yourself. Slide. Now you see that? He's pushing hard, right? Okay, now I'm gonna show you something. You come up. You get over here, put both hands on my right shoulder. You get over here and put both hands on my left shoulder. Now I'm gonna show you guys what body drive is. Ugh, hold on, let me set up. All right, two people over here hold the bar down so I don't lift the bar up. Go ahead. Ready? No oh, fuck. <coughs> See that? Yeah. Jesus. See that body drive? Do it again. Nice and easy. Again. Okay, my, my I'm coming up because I'm not chalked down or I'm not sticky on my 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 hand my feet, but I'm driving. Boom. Through. You feel that body drive? Now that yeah. body drive, when I'm hitting a thousand pounds, I'm boom, driving through like that. I'm coming down, I'm tight, I'm tight, I'm tight. When I hit that bottom, boom, body drive. Sorry if I hurt your hands. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> but did you feel that pressure? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So the bench, this is only the first part, the last part of your bench press. You're using everything in your body to do the bench press. How many of you guys do that? 
right? First of all, in my gym, you can say fuck all day long. Don't ever say try and don't ever say can't because those are escape words. You do. And if you don't do, you learn to do. Everybody get it? All right, so everything's about body drive. When you deadlift, do you just pull with your arms? What do you use? Your hips, your glutes, your hamstrings. When you squat, same thing. When I bench, same thing. It's just a lying down squat. All right? Thanks, guys. Thank you. Ash, come on over here. I want you to do a bench. Yeah. Now, Ashley's going to bench. By the way, guys, Ashley's number two in the world for strong woman. All right? She's America's strongest woman right now. And she's doing the world championships in Alaska in August. So she's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> All right, set it up. Okay, now you're going to notice her feet, ankles are going to go down to begin with. So she's tightening that body up. Her hamstrings are tight. Everything's locked in. She's tightening her butt cheeks up. Her shoulder blades are together. Now her arms, the inner tricep is where the bench press comes from. So my inner tricep, if you had skin that connected it together here, you're gonna pull with your back and your arms are connected. So you're never gonna let your arms separate, right? That's why if you guys ever watch my videos, you always see my warm ups. I'm, I'm like coming to here and then going up because the only thing that would touch is 600 or more. It's like having a built in shirt, okay? So that's what she's gonna do right now and you'll see. Ready? One, two, up. She's in position. She's going to pull down. Ankles are locked in and watch her body drive. Up. See how that body went this way? So that energy turns into this energy. Pull again. Belly up. Up. One more. And like I said, more weight. If she undoes her shoulders, goes like this, and pulls her elbows out, she could touch an empty bar. But that's the way you guys are already benching, okay? If I hit 1,100 pounds and I had my shoulders out like that, they would break. I don't use my shoulders when I bench press at all, okay? So I'm using my body but the press comes off of my back, my legs, and my inner triceps. This outer ring on your tricep has nothing to do with the bench press. You're never gonna lock out from in here. Always inner tricep, boom. And shoulders stay back. So when I'm benching, I'm not pushing away the bar. I'm in position and I'm pushing myself into the back of the bench. So the back is fully tight. So take your shoulder blades right now and pinch them back. Now take your arms, you know the little dimple on the front of your lat? Take your arms, put them on the dimple like that. Now pinch those shoulders all the way back. Now take the muscle, don't move the arms, squeeze that muscle like a seated row, like it's gonna cramp. Now elbows are in. Now without letting the arm escape off of the lat, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. You're separated. Your elbows are back here. Never do that. So your elbows are here and I'm pulling. See how it stopped? Pull and you'll feel it freeze up. You feel that? That's how you bench press. You big boy, you look like an eagle flying off of a cliff. Your elbows need to be down into your shit like that. Now pinch your shoulders back. No, no, no. You see your shoulder blades? Pinch the bones together. Okay, now bring your arms forward, staying pinched. Pinch back. Now pull with your arms to the sides and do not let it separate and go back here. Keep it here and pull. Feel how you're freezing up? That's how you do it, okay? And you'll do it. That's why working off boards is a really good thing because you can warm it up. Do a three board, boom. 
Do a two board, boom, do a one board, and it'll slowly teach your body to program. Your brain has a programming phase. That's why your opening lift always sucks. It always feels like shit. And once you get past your opener, the opener is a big mental thing. Because you hit that opener, what happens? Who's competed here? All right, so we got quite a few. What happens if you miss your opener? Mentally, you're, you're in the shithole, right? That's why they say generally, if you miss it, don't go up until, unless you're absolutely sure. Repeat. But once you hit that opener, everything turns from a shitty situation into like, oh my God, this is my day. And then you're having fun. You miss your opener, you miss your second, you're a mental head case. You know what I mean? Right, right. So the important thing is this. You gotta keep this straight because you gotta make that mind to muscle link up. You guys have to make sure that all your shit is in alignment. Because if it isn't, it throws you off mentally. And once that happens, it's not your ball game. You wanna make it your game, not somebody else's game. That's why when you miss that opener and you see that dude next to you that made it and they're having such a good time and you're just like, fuck. Ugh. I was doing a thing called Bench America in Chicago and uh, Fox Sports was doing it and I opened up with like 825, nobody had ever hit 900 yet. And uh, I missed it. And it was this dude named Ron Lionheart. He's like a 181 guy squatting 900, he was a beast. My whole team's freaking out. My sister's Shauna Mendelson, you guys familiar with her? So she's 800 plus squatter. So she's all freaking out and Ron walks up to me and he goes, right now here at this moment, it's gonna decide whether or not you're the man that you think you are. He goes, everybody can blow it, but to blow it and hold it together and come back, that's a whole other story. So let's see what you got. And he straightened my head out. He walked away and I was like, everybody shut the fuck up. Let's do our job. And I went out there, repeated, nailed it, and then I went for 900 after that. So, you know, it's all about here. Everything's about here. The one with the stronger mind, man, woman, whatever, is the one that's gonna win. All right? Any questions? So you missed that because your mind wasn't ready yet? I missed it because I just didn't have my shit together. You know, the crowd, the TV cameras, the this, the that, whatever it is, everybody's got their excuse of why they missed it. But, you know, when he said that to me, it pulled my shit together. And I was like, okay, I know what I need to do now. Yeah. You know, but it's that mental fortitude that, that is what's going to get you through that next thing. You know? Anyway, thanks, guys. Thank you. Resume your workout. <laughs> <laughs>